Well, that's really interesting. You talk about people healing and looking at labyrinths during times of intense change when they doubt maybe the external structures. I was thinking about the land too. That's going through intense change. I was wondering if the labyrinths have any interplay with that dynamic, you know, that's held in the land. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think certainly the one of the reasons why labyrinths are becoming more popular is that they also have a positive impact on the land. And I think people either consciously or subconsciously realise that while they might be building it for themselves, they are also generally people who build labyrinths place them very carefully or have them built that there is an element of working with the land and with the earth. So, and I found in, in the work I do, and in, I also do some space clearing and energy clearing work, that labyrinths will actually clear geopathic stress from the land. That mm -hmm. there is a healing element to the labyrinths and, and that they're actually helping to heal, heal the earth or heal, heal Mother Earth as well. So there is, um, I think it's no, no coincidence, no accident that there are thousands of labyrinths being built all around the world at this time because certainly the earth seems to be going through you know, quite a bit of stress from a lot of the activities of mankind. And I think this is one way of rebalancing that activity and helping, helping it clear and to heal. Mm, very interesting. I've just had the marvellous thought of taking the tuning forks on the labyrinth and playing the appropriate ones or the appropriate tra tra chakras. Chakra. Yeah. Be very interesting. Or playing the gong in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think there is, um, as I've been working with the labyrinth for 10 or 12 years now and I still feel like I'm only scratching the surface, but there is a huge amount of interconnections between the labyrinth and different forms of healing and different mm. forms of ancient wisdom that mm. I can see those interconnections. It's For me, it's a symbol of oneness. So not only is it bringing you into a space of oneness with yourself, but mm. with others, with the land and actually with, with all of existence. Lovely. Yeah. Amazing. And um, <clears throat> what about the next step? I know you've been making labyrinths for some years, yeah. but you've not just stopped there, have you? You've branched out with it into other yes. arenas. Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I see myself as bringing the labyrinth to the people. So in, in whatever way I can do that. And I found when I was working with the labyrinth myself, I was gaining insights and into my own life or into life in general. So So it prompted me to to create a deck of, of labyrinth cards, or I call labyrinth wisdom cards, because it's, it's, it's actually your own wisdom that the labyrinth is helping you to tap into, that we have an innate wisdom within ourselves. And it's finding when you become more centered and balanced, well then, that you become open to seeing the wisdom that is available to you. And the labyrinth is a tool for helping you access your own inner wisdom. Well, I just drew a card while you were speaking, and this is what I got. Yeah, this is this is yourself. This is this is one of the turning points in the labyrinth, and and the different parts of the labyrinth and different types of labyrinth have different meanings as I see it. And this is, this is, um, this is um, called yourself. It's yourself. It's a, the second turning point, as I would see it. But it's it's yourself in relation to others, and that sometimes. Yeah, people may be drawing too much on you or you may be giving too much of yourself to others and not looking after yourself first. And, and it's like on the airplane, you, you put on your own mask first. You need to look after yourself first before you can help others. And it's not that you shouldn't be helping others, but there are times you need to focus on yourself. That is very yeah. useful. And thank so, you very much. You're welcome.